inside. I'm going to this is Dan today. Today is going to be huge. 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 Crazy. What is this? <laughs> what is this thing? It's squishy. So, it's squishy. ExxonMobil recently launched Mobile One Annual Protection, which provides protection for up to a year. Can you imagine going a year or 20,000 miles in between oil changes? That is pretty cool. So yeah, thanks to Mobile One Annual Protection for sponsoring this video. And when we're doing something that involves your motor having full protection for an entire year, we thought, what would be a better thing to cut open than a giant motor? It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be tough. It may be impossible. I'm not sure, honestly, yeah. but we got this a cool really, briefcase. It's really squishy. This must be a calendar. Safety glasses. Nice. Gloves. I think I'm completely hidden. There um, you go. Oh no. Whoa! <laughs> it's inside of it. You rip off the top page and then look. March 15th. Don't change your oil. What is this? How far do we go? I like this briefcase. I'm gonna tell you if you ever find this briefcase, if we leave it at the airport. The code is 365 on both sides. 365 days. And changing your oil can be really annoying when you have to do it all the time. Let us know in the comments. What would you do with this many days of not changing your oil? With all the time you would have back. Lots of different cars have different, this one is 5W30. There's actually all different kinds. I'll list them right here of the different types of protection because different this cars. This one's 5W20. If everybody that had a gas powered car changed their oil with Mobile One Annual Protection, in one year's time, the earth would save 587 million gallons of oil. That's a lot of gallons. That's a lot. So you can get your Mobile One Annual Protection online or you go into your local AutoZone. We'll have a link in the description so you can find yours easy. Let's take this calendar, Lincoln, you can keep tearing, but let's take it into the garage so we can get this engine, figure out how we're gonna cut into that. This is our engine. It's inside of this crate that was delivered on a semi truck. This is 300 pounds. Ah, check this out. That's where the oil goes in. OW20 for this engine. There's no way we're gonna be able to do this at home with our little tools. This is way bigger than I thought it was. We're gonna call a friend that has two things that we need. A pickup truck, giant muscles, three things. A truck to transport this thing. Giant muscles. Third, somebody that knows a thing or two about engines and can explain to us and to you guys what we're actually looking at. And he can't get a haircut. He can't even get a haircut. Who's it gonna be? Look at their shirts. This was not planned. Oh, wow. Now we gotta get matching shoes. Do you know anything about these engines? A little bit. I don't know. Do you have like a hydraulic button you can push that'll lower the truck down? We are on our way to a shop. I guess they make rockets for spaceships and stuff. And these guys were like, yep, come on over. We'll give it a try. We don't know if it'll work, but we'll give it a try. This place has all kinds of saws in here. This is like a what's inside dream workshop right here. We wanna be very safe, so we're gonna have professionals helping us operate this saw so that we don't break anything. But I think it could be possible. I asked if it's possible, I said anything's possible, so. It's like a perfect fit. So we probably will make it all the way down, maybe to the oil pan that's down here before we have to maybe pull it back out twist it maybe, and then cut the last half of it. <sighs> this is crazy. The coolest part about an engine is that it literally is a series of explosions making your car move. The gasoline okay. explodes, the oil is what lubricates like the moving parts inside. So here's where all the explosions happen in these little chambers. The oil for your engine only goes in this part. So the oil pan's down here and it keeps all of the pistons, all of those moving parts underneath the explosions, mobile. Because if there was no lubrication under there, it would just get really hot and seize up. I'm not really scientific with all this magic, but. It's happening. I don't know, but hopefully it keeps going. I'm gonna be honest right now, I feel like we are 100% cheating by cutting it open with this giant saw. I think it is right that we use a big machine that's meant for cutting metal instead of a sledgehammer in your backyard. This is definitely a true test for this blade and this saw.
hopefully this next blade will be the one that does it, but we might have to go through multiple blades here. My confidence level, I'm about 50-50 that we'll be able to actually cut open this engine. I think we can do it. We flipped it around. We're gonna try going through the oil pan first, see how far we can get. The blade was stuck inside of the engine, so we had to cut it. So we did find a carbide blade, which is a really, really thick steel. That'll be our third and hopefully last blade that we do. And then this thing will just spread apart in a beautiful two halves of an engine, probably a first on YouTube. Connected. We are so close. 5% left. Less than 3% left. But there's something in there. We think it's the pistons that is hard and steel that is just too hard to cut through. So the new plan is we are going to get a wedge and a ram, whatever that means, and we are going to split it across like it's a piece of wood, and it sounds amazing. These are the kind of chips you don't want to eat. Zach, tell us what's going on here. We have the saw blade going almost all the way through it, but we're gonna take this machine and just press right here until the whole thing just falls apart. You're telling me half of the engine is going to fall on the ground. That's what we're hoping for. Lincoln is gonna catch it before it hits the ground. Though. I'll be laying right here, this is our plan. That is not the plan. Safety first, remember that. And Safety and first. And it's very wisely hiding behind a golf cart over here. Just in case. Safety first here today. Catch it, Link. Where were you on that, bud? <laughs> this wedge is in it. You can see the gap. It's starting to spread apart a little bit. Hopefully, it will split. Oh, I like that sound. Yeah! Now oh, the wedge is gone. Look how wide that gap is now. Did you hear that popping? Yeah, I think we're pretty darn close. <laughs> oh! What? Half of the engine is opening up. Check it out. We've got it all split. There's one pipe right there, this little tiny pipe that appears to be holding the entire thing together. So once we break this pipe, the whole thing's going down. Yes! 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 We can open an engine! Well, Holy well, moly, days. that is cool. Look at all those parts. Look how beautiful that cut is. Okay, explain to me what this thing is. This is the crankshaft which holds all of the pistons. It's so heavy. Here's one side of it. Here's your crankshaft split in half by a saw. Have you ever seen anything like this That's before? Incredible. I love it. I'm amazed. Like, I can't believe this is what helps run cars. There's so many parts. Like, I see a chain here. I see springs, pistons, right? That's what they're called. My favorite part of an engine is right here inside of these little shafts because we have this thing, which is called a piston. That's way bigger than I thought a piston would be. Yeah. And this is that hard metal that was hard to get through on that first part. And these just sit in here. And as the oxygen and the gasoline come in and make the explosions, they go up and down really, really fast. They turn that crankshaft that we just saw a second ago, and that's okay. what makes your whole car move. Science. You get the spark, you get the explosion, this pushes down, puts the pressure down here and the crankshaft gets spinning. This actually squirts out the oil. And so that when this goes up and down, the mobile one annual protection, it is specifically designed so that there's no harmful sludge or deposits that are created in here so that it can extend the life of your engine to protect your engine from harmful breakdowns, from sludge, from deposits, so that you can drive for hopefully hundreds of thousands more miles. Now, let's see what oil looks like going down a cut in half. <laughs> well, we did it. Cut open an engine. I didn't think that we could actually do this. Big thanks to our friend Jerry. Where's it, Zach? Go to your local auto zone, show some love. The link is in the description. Huge thanks to them because without them, this amazing biggest project that we've I'm ever done would have never happened. The, the engine is clapping. Okay, now what do we do with two halves of an engine? Go get shakes with them.
That was amazing. Thanks, buddy. Best one in the last 50. Thanks. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't know if we're good. I think you're good. I think you're great. <laughs>